giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Green Millstone. And it's a serious hello mom to the doctrine that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. It's gonna be a real quick video, a couple verses long, right? I'm gonna go into this um this situation here. Don't do not have the Hananiah the prophet spirit. Do not be like Hananiah the prophet. When you think of Hananiah the prophet, you think of you 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 know immediately I think of the these these freedom fighting jakes. You know what I'm saying? That says we're supposed to take up arms, rise up, and things like that. You think of the Wi-Fi guys. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta rise up against the Palestinians and stuff like that. You don't be like Hananiah the prophet, man. You know what I'm saying? When you think of Hananiah the prophet, you think of rebellion. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a couple of verses down. Um, maybe not 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 this whole thing, but it's it's the main point in it that I want. Um, so we're going to start at verse ten. It says, "Then Hananiah the prophet uh, took the yoke." from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and break it. And Hananiah speak in the presence of all this of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, if if so will I break the yoke of so like even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar, all right, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Okay, so uh, this this guy Hananiah the prophet, <clears throat> this this guy Hananiah the prophet, um, you know he 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 has the spirit of of like rebellion. Yeah, you know just just like I took the yoke off Jeremiah's neck, so I'm going to break the yoke off of everybody else's neck. I'm going to be the one to break you out of captivity, right? He said, thus saith the Lord, I'm going to be the one to break you out of captivity. Did it work? And that's the reason why, I, why I'm saying in this video, do not be a Hananiah the prophet. Okay. Verse 12, it says, then the Lord, then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet. Uh, after that, uh, Hananiah the prophet had, had uh, broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah saying, Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make them for make them yokes of iron. So he said, So the word the word of the Lord is coming to Jeremiah saying, Look, tell tell Hananiah, you broke the you broke the yokes of, of wood. That's easy. Nah, he's gonna make he's gonna make them yokes of iron. You can iron is really tough, man. Right? Verse 14. It says, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke. It says, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations. So again, going back, the Lord, the Lord told Jeremiah again, go tell Hananiah, right? Go tell Hananiah, you broke the, you broke the yokes of wood. The Lord put the yokes of iron upon the, upon the necks of all the nations. Remember. There is no counsel, no understanding, no wisdom against the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. When the Lord, when when the Lord had Job nine and twenty four said, "What the earth is given into the hand of the hand of the wicked." When the Lord wants a nation in power, He's going to have them in power. When the Lord wants a nation to be in captivity, He's going to have them go into captivity. There is nothing you can do about that, man. Eli, um, uh, the situation with Eli, right? When he when when the when the, uh, I think it was, I can't remember who told him, who told him what, but at the end of the whole conversation, I believe it was Samuel. I can't remember, but um, uh, uh, Eli, at the end, he was talking about his sons. He was talking about his sons, and Eli, because Eli's sons was wicked, and Eli said, "Well, punishment must come come upon me." And you know, because I remember he was he was getting God on for letting his sons go off and do wicked, do wickedly, man. And Eli said, well, if I'm, if I'm to be punished, then so let it be. I, there's nothing I could do about that. There is absolutely nothing I, do, I could do about that. So it's the same thing here. For thus saith the Lord, reading that for, for, verse 14 again. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar, however you want to say his name. It says, King of, King of King of Babylon. 
It says, and they shall and they shall serve him, and I have given him the beast of the field also. Okay, so again, this goes back to Job chapter 9, verse 24. I have given in the, the I have given the earth to the hand of the wicked. It's the same thing with this, right? The Lord set up Nebuchadnezzar, man, or Nebuchadnezzar, again, however you want to say his name. The Lord set him up. Okay, just like these, just like these other uh kingdoms. The Lord set up the Assyrian, the Lord set up the Babylonian, the Lord set up the uh the uh the Medo-Persian, the Lord set up the Grecian, he set up the Roman, he set up the, this place here, the divided kingdoms. He, he set all this up, man. Right? From the very it, the, all the scriptures tell you that, man. If he created the earth, you gotta think about it like this, man. If he created the the the, the, the entirety of the earth, which he didn't do himself, but what I'm saying, but if if he laid out the blueprint and he did all this, right? And before all before all of this was even created, you're telling me that he's not the author of all that? So he bring he brings up nations, he brings down nations. Scriptures tell you that, man. Okay? But Hananiah the prophet, he didn't understand this. This is what a lot of you a lot of you so-called black Latino and Native American people don't understand, especially but Jake mainly, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about I'm talking about the Negro, man. Y'all mainly, right? You right, you right, you try to rise up. Yeah, man, we're gonna stand bold as lions, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hunt down, we're gonna hunt down uh uh, uh the, the Palestinians, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that, we're gonna take up arms, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. Look, man, you just being stupid. You just being stupid. We you, you when you do that, and you claim you talking to you claiming uh you're defending the word of the Lord, or you're defending the Lord, which the Lord don't need us to defend defend him. We need him to defend us. Right? A part of him, but part of but part of you praying to the Lord to allow him to defend you is not going against his word. That was the that was the problem that 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 uh Jeremiah was facing, man, when it came when it came to our people. Right? Hezekiah, he didn't want to hear nothing, man. He didn't want to hear that. A lot of our people didn't want to hear that. When Jeremiah said, Look, man, uh y'all went off, y'all sinned against the Lord. You did, you know, you know what I'm saying? You provoked them to anger. Now the Lord is getting ready to send these Babylonians to enslave you. You know what our people did? They was rebellious. They you you have no choice, man. You literally have no choice. It don't matter how many times you try to fight it. Look, you ain't you ain't gonna break out. How many times are these these so-called black people that have gone marching because they wanna find some type of comfort in in this place? Or you black freedom fighter, Wi-Fi guys, right? want to rise up against the heathen and then you go back home you know what i'm saying the with, with bloody faces and still paying bills to the to the to the to the, to, the, to, the, to your oppressor man you know what i'm saying how how much sense does that make how much sense does that make you just being dumb that's what it is right you can call it brave all you want i don't care you're being dumb it's stupid you cannot fight against the lord and you claiming you talk about defending the defend, defending the word of the Lord. Well, the word of the Lord said what? You are not, you have to wait on him. When you're not doing that and you losing patience, you're going to find yourself in more and in, in more in change than what you already were, man. Right? When we go out there, our job is to warn and edify, man. That it, it that's it. That's it. Our job is to warn and edify, man. And 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 you know pro profess the Lord's judgment, man. That's that. Hananiah, he did he didn't see it. A lot of you jakes today, you don't see it. And this is what the word and this is what the word of the Lord is telling Jeremiah, man. Right? He said, I the Lord said, I've gave Nebuchadnezzar the the uh the beast of the field. I gave him all these nations. And these other nations are going to serve him. That's just what it is. Because Israel, you sinned. That's why we're here today, because we sinned. But you still got rebellion, right? Like the Sakaris, you still got rebellion. You know what I'm saying? Try to rise up, you know what I'm saying? To curse out everybody that they see and stuff like that. All the views, of, you know what I'm saying? None of this works, man. Okay? Verse 15. It says, then said the prophet... Uh, Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet here now Hananiah okay so he now Jeremiah is talking to Hananiah right 
Jeremiah said what? Hear now, Hananiah. The, word, the Lord have not sent thee. Let me read that again, man. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah, right? The prophet, hear now, Hananiah. The Lord have not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Yeah, because he, pro he professed and proclaimed and raised his hand in front of everybody, in front of the whole, you know what I'm saying? In front of the whole audience and said, look, I'm just, just you, you saw me break the yoke of Jeremiah. You know what I'm saying? You saw me break this yoke off Jeremiah's neck. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same for all the nations, right? Thus saith the Lord. And, and the Lord didn't say that, man. Right? And the Lord didn't say that. He, the Lord said, you can clearly see Hananiah said, thus saith the Lord, this is what I'm going to do. And the Lord saying otherwise. So this is like, oh, okay. The Lord said, oh, okay. You want to say, thus saith in my name. <laughs> all right. I got you. I got you. Yep. Yep. Verse 16. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, right? Now, now we're going into thus saith the Lord. This is Jeremiah. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth this year. Thou shalt, it says, this year thou shalt die, right? It says, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. Did you see that? So when you, so when you dare try to raise up, so we under, we under the captivity of Esau, Edom, right? When you try to raise up against against Esau Edom, right? And try to raise, you know, take up arms and stuff like that. You wonder why you end up in jail? Because the Lord didn't want it. And everybody's going to look at you like you brave when the whole time you're just dumb, man. You're just stupid. Because now what you're going to do? You, you, you're looking crazy behind, in, in, in a jail cell, man. So when you talk about we want we want to raise up and we want to take up arms and we're going to fight against Palestinians, we're going to march and rally and fight against, you know what I'm saying, fight against the heathen, you're rebelling against the Lord. Because the Lord said the Lord is the one that put us in this, in this captivity. And when the Lord is ready to break us out, he's going to break us out. But until then, be quiet, right? Be quiet. Agree with your adversary quickly, quietly, and do whatever it is you got to do, man. Do whatever it is you got to do. The Lord said, wait upon me. And a lot of you Jakes seem to forget about that. Hananiah didn't, 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 didn't uh, understand this. What happened to Hananiah, if you didn't read yet? So, Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. Because why? It says, because, because, thou, because he has taught rebellion against the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he kept it to himself. Hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Nah, man, he was he was putting on a show. He said, "Yeah, man, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Watch me." And he said, "Thus saith the Lord." And the Lord didn't say nothing about that. So which means he taught. It ain't that you know he didn't only keep it to himself. He taught it to the to the entirety of the people, man. And the Lord dealt with him. So don't be a Hananiah the prophet, man. Don't don't be a Hananiah. Okay. Cause that's 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 going to lead to ultimate doom, man. That's all that's going to lead to. It's not going to it's not going to get you nowhere. Rebelling against Esau Edom ain't going to get you nowhere, except in the jail cell or dead, right? This is the problem when, when we see when we see a lot of you jakes out there. When the police come up and tell you to move move off the corner, right? When when the police tell you to move off the corner, what do you do? You just move. But you know, no, no, a lot of you Jakes got that Hananiah spirit, man. A lot of you Jakes say, I'm not moving. I I know my rights. I'm not moving. I see a lot of this on uh, on YouTube, man. When it, when the police ask for identification, sometimes it may not be needed. You know what I'm saying? But everybody argues, I, I don't have to show you my identification. Then it all turns to a big ass blown out, blown out argument, man. I don't have to show you this. I don't have to show you that. But then... All that at the end of the whole con, I noticed every single time, man, at the end of the whole conversation, what happens? They all end up showing that officer the, the identification. Let's say you didn't do anything wrong because it, it, I know I know it's, it's law where you don't have to, you know, show them your identification if you're not convicted of anything or something like that, whatever. But uh, they still they still had the authority, man. All right. So. I noticed again. I, I I just been looking at a couple of videos like that, and it's just like, well, wow. They they, they ended up showing them the identification anyway. It's the same thing with you, Jakes, that likes posting up 
on these corners. And then when the, when the police tell you to move, you say, I don't got to move. I'm not moving. Then they got to call for backup. And then here, and then here goes the throwdown. They got to, they got to slam you down on the ground, put handcuffs on you and move and forcibly move you when the whole time you could have just moved because you're going to be moved either way. You're going to be moved either way. Why would you want to be put in handcuffs? You really want that? Just move because they're going to move you anyway, man. And guess what? That's the Lord moving you. The Lord said, what? You're going to do it the easy way? You're going to, hard, going to do it the hard way? When you say, no, I'm not moving, you're rebelling against the Lord, man. Because you forget. Again, the Lord is the one that put us in this situation, man. Because we went off. We went off. Let's just face it like that. We went off. What happens when, it, when, it, when your parent punishes you, right? And you try to sneak your way out of it it gets worse because the parent gets the parent gets even angrier it's just like face your punishment you what you did wrong face it anyway don't be a hand and eye the prophet man giving all praise on the glory to you how about you know shout out